Today we are going to make the letter S. Start with a slip knot. And make a foundation chain of 26. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Now I have completed 3 chains. So just like this. You need to continue until you have 26 chains. Now I have completed a foundation chain of 26 and we are going to start the first row. First row is going to be a row of half double crochets starting from the second chain from the hook this is the first chain from the hook this is the second chain from the hook so we are going to work into that yarn over insert the hook into the second chain from the hook yarn over and pull through the chain now you have three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three now we have completed the first half double crochet we'll do the second one yarn over and insert the hook into the next chain yarn over and pull through the chain now you have three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three now we have completed two half double crochets just like this you can continue until the end of this foundation chain by the end you need to have 25 half double crochets all the way long Now I have completed 25 half double crochets on the first row. Now chain 1 and turn the work to start the next row. Next row is also going to be a row of half double crochets starting from the very first chain over here. So yarn over and insert the hook into the first stitch. Yarn over and pull through the stitch. Yarn over and pull through all 3. Again yarn over and insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through the stitch. Yarn over and pull through all three. Now we have completed two half double crochets on the second row. Just like this you can continue until the end of this row. And chain one and turn the work and start the next row. Like that we need to complete another three rows of 25 half double crochets. Now I have completed 4 rows of 25 half double crochets then chain 1 and turn the work. Now on this row first of all we need to make 10 half double crochets. After that we need to crochet a bubble stitch onto the next stitch. I will show you how to do that. Yarn over and insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through the stitch. Now you have 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through 2. Now you have 2 loops on the hook. Again yarn over and insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull through the stitch. Now you have 4 loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through 2. Now you have 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over and insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull through the stitch. Now you have 5 loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through 2. Now you have 4 loops on the hook. Again yarn over and insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull through the stitch. Now you have 6 loops on the hook. 
Yano when pull through two. Now you have five loops on the hook. Again, yarn over and insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull through the stitch. Now you have seven loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Now you have six loops on the hook. When you have six loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all six. This is a bubble stitch. And after this, we need to make a half double crochet into the next stitch. Then a bubble stitch and a half double crochet and a bubble stitch like that you need to continue until you have three bubbles on the other side now i have completed three bubbles on the other side and after that to finish this row we need to make another 10 half double crochets now I have completed that row chain 1 and turn the work after each and every bubble row we need to make a row of 25 half double crochets Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. The next row is going to be 8 half double crochets and a bubble stitch and 7 half double crochets and a bubble stitch and again 8 half double crochets. Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. The next row is going to be a row of half double crochets. Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. The next row is going to be 7 half double crochets and a bubble stitch and 9 half double crochets and a bubble stitch and again 7 half double crochets. Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. The next row is going to be a row of half double crochets. Now I have completed that row chain 1 and turn the work the next row is going to be 17 half double crochets and a bubble stitch and 7 half double crochets now i have completed that row chain 1 and turn the work the next row is going to be a row of half double crochets. Now I 
Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. We are going to start the next row by making 8 half double crochets. The next stitch is a bubble stitch. And then a half double crochet. And a bubble stitch, a half double crochet, a bubble stitch. Like that you need to continue until you get 5 bubbles on the other side. So complete until you get 5 bubbles on the other side and meet me back. Now I have completed 5 bubbles on the other side and after that to finish the row we need to make another 8 half double crochets. Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. The next row is going to be a row of half double crochets. Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. The next row is going to be 7 half double crochets and a bubble stitch and 17 half double crochets. Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. The next row is going to be a row of half double crochets. Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. The next row is 7 half double crochets and a bubble stitch and 9 half double crochets and a bubble stitch and 7 half double crochets. Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. Next row is going to be a row of half double crochets. Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. The next row is 8 half double crochets and a bubble stitch and 7 half double crochets and a bubble stitch and 8 half double crochets. Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. The next row is going to be a row of half double crochets. Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. 
the next row we are going to start by making 10 half double crochets Now we need to crochet a double stitch into the next stitch. Then a half double crochet and a bubble stitch. and a half double crochet and a bubble stitch then to finish this row we need to make another 10 half double crochets Now I have completed that row, chain 1 and turn the work. Now we have completed the letter. So to finish the project we need to make another 4 rows of 25 half double crochets. So complete another 4 rows and meet me back. Now I have completed the 4 rows of 25 half double crochets, chain 1 and you can cut the yarn off. Now to hide the tails you can use the yarn needle. Now we have completed the letter. I hope I have explained everything clearly for you and if you have any question regarding making this you can comment on the comment section below and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and share it. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for watching.